Yeah. How how long were y'all together before you broke up? I would say it was. I would say it was getting close to eight months, and then that's when all hell kind of broke loose with the TV show and and stuff. All the stuff I, I met Toya, and uh, she was like, "You, you she's like, wait, you cheating on me with with this girl from TV?" Like, and I was like, "No, I was just well, I'm watching it." We she's like, "We watch her on TV. What you doing? Like, you you know her? You met her? You you ran into her?" I was like, "Yeah, I ran into her at a party." And we, we, you know, we we friends. We talk sometimes, and then that's that's when it was kind of like, uh, uh-uh. uh, like I'm. She's like, I want off this label now. I'm like, you can't just get off the label like that. I can't just go up to the label and say she's off the label because she doesn't like something that's going on personally in my life. And so, because I'm like, and then she started. I feel like she started figuring out like, oh, you weren't you weren't supposed to touch me, were you? You weren't supposed to like with your job and all that. You weren't supposed to. Cause I started being like, no, I can't do that. I can't just go up there and let you go. She's like, oh, you gonna let me go? She's like, I go to go up there myself. And I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. So, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, man to man. Yeah. W- was you doing something with Toya at that time? Oh uh, no, not at the time, not at the time. But we were just so, talking. Yeah, we were just talking. We just had just met. We were new friends, and I just was like, she was in a relationship, and I was she was in a relationship with some uh, this NFL guy, and I was in a relationship with Kay Michelle, but we met like single we met each other like well we met each other and we were both in a relationship so we were just talking from there yeah okay so i guess i didn't know this part of your story so bear with me okay a lot well i'm not gonna say a lot but the straw that broke the camel's back between you and k michelle was she thought you were talking to toya she thought i was in a in a yeah yeah which i w- to, to be honest, I was like, a, uh, I was talking to her almost in, in, in a way that I was like, a, I just don't, I don't like this situation I'm in. I told her what I had done. You know, I was like, I'm, I think I'm messed up because this is this, if this goes bad, my job is in jeopardy. My, you know, the way people look at me at my, at my job, like you, nigga, you, you fucked with one of the artists, nigga, your own artist too? Like that's a liability. Like I, I knew it was trouble. I was like, oh no, no, I done, done some bad. So I was kind of telling her like that. And she was telling me that she wasn't, she didn't really want to be in the relationship she was in. I didn't even at the time. I didn't know, you know. She told me that her affiliation with Wayne and she was used to be married to Wayne. So I was like, oh okay. So all, we had already been talking so long, a couple months about what what was going on in our lives that you know we was you know we was like and I was kind of running to her and she was kind of running to me so we had this we were both in relationships but we had this mutual thing where we were running to each other for something that we didn't really want to be in and that's okay, the relationship so we had um, yeah obviously K Michelle is living with you at the time yes was there an explosion was there uh uh, uh something that happened that finally you asked her to leave? Yeah, I just was like, I don't want to, I told her I don't want to do this no more. It was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a relationship with my artists. Like, it just feels weird. It's like, I got to, I'm talking to you about music all day. We're in the studio. Then I, then we at home in the bed. We still talking about music. I just was getting annoyed a little bit. I was just like, I don't want to do this no more. Like, this is too much. This is too much. Like, I want to come home and hear something totally different from who I'm at home with. It's in my bed. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to sleep. Like, hey, the love of my single is coming out. I'm like, I'm like, I, we just was talking about that all day long. So I just want to, let's talk about something different. So so you can at least trick me that I'm not in, this, in the same bed with my artist that we was just in the studio all day with everybody acting like we're not doing in the bed together right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so it was just, it was just a lot, bro. And okay, so it, you right. asked her to leave. And yeah, well, well, it happened in well, the actual blow up happened in Memphis. Uh, okay, actual blow up happened in Memphis. Yeah, the actual blow up happened in Memphis, <clears throat> and we were at a car at a car show or something like that. And uh, she just got upset with me. She was like, "I told her, I told her, she had kind of embarrassed me. She was fussing with somebody outside, and I just kind of like, I was like, I was like, yo, you keep fussing with people that I made relationships with. You every time I come outside, it's a, some kind of argument going on, and I was like, I feel like this is." You can't, I can't, that's, that's not my, that's not my personality. I'm like, you, you, it's like, you're misrepresenting me with your aggressiveness and I'm aggressive too, but I'm not, I'm still a people person. You know, you, like it was, it was a non people person thing going on. And I was just like, that ain't me. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired. I can't, I'm, I'm tired of, tired of 
going to fix stuff. I'm talking to gangsters, telling them, no, she didn't mean it like that, bro. I'm like, I'm they're like, you need to get your girl. I'm like, I'm t- I can't be in conversations about like this every day about you. Like, I'm, I'm done. I-, I can't do it no more. And that's when, uh, you know, that's when, you know, I, you know, I don't want, I, it's been a long time. I kind of leave it alone, but that's when she kind of rushed me when I said that, that I was done. I was like, I'm out the door. I, I got halfway to the door and here comes a flying iron. So I was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, you know, it kind of, um, it kind of turned into something crazy. I just, I was like, oh my God, what, what have I done? And that's when it blew up. That's when the, the job gets back to the job. That's when all these things start happening. I get fired. I'm like, they like, this is a liability. It's like, tell us you did not have sexual relations with your artist. And I was like, dang. And that's like, it's like, you're done. You're done. We got to let you go. Okay. So you get fired from the label. Did you lose your deal too? Uh, kind of, lo- yeah, kind of lost it. I lost my deal. I lost my job. I lost, uh, yeah, I was trying to get new jobs, but every time I would walk up to a company, they was asking me like, did you really hit that girl? I was like, no. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.